Jermaine Dupree surprises his daughter Shania with a brand new Tesla Model X. My little baby ain't my little baby no more. She ain't little, little baby. She gonna be 26 next week. Two weeks. Oh, two weeks. <laughs> and uh, this our first time hanging out in Vegas. Really hanging out. She stayed in the club. Me too. Sun rise. Yep. Went in, it was dark, came out, and it was morning time. It was <laughs> 9 a.m. Atlanta time for reference, which was what? 6 a.m. Vegas time. Crazy. And, you know. First all nighter. Never pulled an all nighter. Yeah. Hanging out with Dad. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Yes, sir. People, what's up, y'all? What's going on? What's happening? What's happening? Um, so anyway, I started doing this walk. Um, what's up, DJ Cash? So I started doing this walk. This walk basically is me walking from my house to like Dallas Austin house, and so it's from my house to his house and back to my house is like 4.2 miles. Um, I wasn't going to get on here today, but then I, <laughs> I turned on the news and I seen all of this shit with Puff and I'm not really here to talk about that, but I am here to talk about the fact that it's, it's, it's actually mind blowing to me. Because um, You guys at the public Have always pitted Me So so deaf against bad boy And you know what I mean And Puff and yeah, Everybody wanted to see a versus And all of this type of shit right So I always thought that Mentally Somewhere down the line, our morals and things that mattered was basically kind of the same. Um, I have to address this because somebody said I don't think you should address it. I have to address the part that I'm talking about. I and mean, what I'm saying about this is that when I got in the music industry, I want you to understand this. When I got in the music industry... One of the things that I wanted to do was learn from other people's mistakes, right? And I wanted to not do what I saw other people doing. My biggest inspiration was Teddy Riley. Teddy Riley, that was my inspiration. It's still my inspiration. And I saw him and Gene Griffin have a dispute over publishing and ownership of the name and all of this other shit that destroyed the new Jack Swing. And... I couldn't really figure out back then how they would let that little bit of shit destroy the big picture of what they did and what they built, but they did. And I went into this thing saying, I'm not going to allow those type of things to happen. I'm going to make sure I do right by this person and people that come to the studio with me and this, that, the third, I, you know what I mean? And I think that, I, I think that, um... The people that saying I shouldn't talk about this, you're not used to a person talking about doing right. 
And that's all I'm talking about right now, right? I'm not talking about, I don't know nothing about the case or anything. But what I do realize is that shit ain't right. And shit is like crazy, right? And it's the it's the furthest from what I ever imagined could ever happen in hip hop, right? For me, I saw Russell Simmons go through this and I was like, man, you know what I mean? You, And I thought that people, you're supposed to learn from mistakes, man. So it ain't a long conversation I'm gonna have because I'm walking, but I, I just wanted y'all to know, like this is heavy on my mind that I cannot understand how a person could be so dumb and let things just go and unravel the way that they have. I thought it was on smart shit. You know what I mean? I thought I'm on smart shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what y'all think about me. I don't know what to say. Whatever y'all can do, whatever. You, I don't give a I'm just telling you. My mentality is to stay away from certain things in this game. And I had. And I always have. And I always will. Because I've seen this shit destroy people. And seeing this happen right now is crazy. <laughs> like, it's crazy. Because to destroy a legacy, to destroy an empire, to destroy just destroy it. There ain't no other word to use. This is just it's being destroyed. Um um and I no no listen somebody said Jermaine you played it safe. It's not playing it safe. It's playing it right because it's been before me that have shown me what the to not do and what to do. And ego, arrogance, money whatever you can't let that shit control you now what i do want to also say is that one thing that i realized will not be addressed in this whole situation is the fact that the of entertainment entertainment people getting in the entertainment business is a it's the biggest i see right it's that will do anything to be in the entertainment business. And that's a problem. Like, that's a problem. Like, you gotta stop wanting to be in this shit so bad that you will do anything. Because for the life of me, I can't understand how people we're around this stuff that they're claiming is happening or happened for multiple years and just look the other way and didn't say nothing and do nothing. If I'm uncomfortable in the first five minutes of being around anything, you gonna know it's an issue. I have a problem. Now, I don't give a f who the person is in front of me. I don't give a who that person can, what they can do for me. If I'm uncomfortable and I don't feel like this is what I signed up for, I'm not sitting and dealing with the shit. So, and, but I, but I, but I see, like I said, I've seen this in the Harvey Weinstein shit. Um, like this shit is, like anybody out there, I'm telling you, anybody out there younger that looks up to me or anybody that's like in this shit, the way I'm in this shit, man, pay attention and learn because it don't make no sense for you to do shit that is going to destroy your empire. If that's, you know, if that's what you work so hard to do, I don't, that's the part I don't understand. And yes, have I made mistakes? We all make mistakes. But we supposed to learn from our mistakes and we supposed to do right <laughs> the next time. So 
Um, so I know a lot of niggas ain't gonna wanna hear what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? I know niggas ain't wanna hear what I'm talking about, and niggas don't care. But that's what, you know, that's what's bothering me. And it's not even like, I'm not doing this to, I'm just telling you, as I'm walking, I'm thinking about this shit, and it's just bothering me. Like, man, how could you allow this type of shit to happen? Like, I don't, I don't, I don't, like, honestly, I don't get it. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, it's like a n- that, like, and I know my n- that, I seen them. That's what I'm saying. I seen them with my own eyes, and I, that's how people, I mean, I don't know. Anyway, like I said, this shit crazy. I uh, hope y'all having a good day. I'm going to finish my walk. If you just got in here, like I said, my walk is... Uh, I'm moving faster today too Yesterday was A little Whatever Um, I'm moving faster today And I'm already at Dallas House Thanks for tuning in To 9MagTV